Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today, thanks to Inchscape Toyota Guildford, I'm taking you on an in depth exterior and interior tour and exhaust video of this 2021 Toyota Yaris GR. All of Inchscape Toyota Guildford's contact details are in the description of the video. The Toyota Yaris GR, or Gazoo Racing, is a true homologation special, meaning it has been born from rally and race circuits and adapted to road use, instead of the other usual way around. It has been developed from Toyota Gazoo Racing's, Toyota's motorsport division, 2019 and 2020 World Rally Championship winning car, and shares little with the standard Toyota Yaris. Let's start the model overview, with comparisons to the highest spec standard Yaris, to really see how different the cars are. GR comes in at 3,995mm long, 55mm longer, 1,805mm wide, 60mm wider, 1,455mm high, 45mm taller, with a max curb weight of 1305kg, 100kg less. Now moving to the powertrain, to view GR's engine, we first need to pull the latch on the driver's side. We can then move around to the front and, after locating and pressing another catch, lift the bonnet up before securing it with a strut that needs to be manually placed. Yaris GR is powered by the world's most powerful three-cylinder projection engine, a front-mounted 1.6-litre three-cylinder single-scroll turbo petrol engine that produces 257 brake horsepower and 360 Nm of torque. This output produces a 0 to 62 mile per hour or 100 km per hour time of 5.2 seconds and a top speed of 143 miles per hour or 230 km per hour sent to all four wheels. Once finished in the front, we can secure the strut above, lower the bonnet, and secure it with a firm press at the front. Now moving down to the corners, and we find lightweight 18-inch 10-spoke BBS forged alloys at each corner, thanks to the circuit pack. The non-circuit pack cars are fitted with 18-inch cast wheels. Moving in from these, and we come to specially developed ventilated 356mm front and 297mm rear discs, aimed to provide serious braking performance. Now focusing on the car's impressive suspension setup, and we find a newly developed adjustable four-wheel drive system based around reinforced McPherson front struts, here at a thicker width thanks to the circuit pack, and trailing double wishbones at the rear. These both come with coil springs and front and rear anti-roll bars. In this circuit pack car, we also find front and rear torsion limited slip differentials to provide higher levels of control and stability. In the non-circuit pack cars, an open differential is fitted. Now we've finished the model overview, we can start the exterior tour from front to back making comparisons to the highest spec standard Yaris as we go to truly appreciate the developments here. GR has a completely new front bumper with a large angular intake central to provide the necessary rally aesthetic and send more air to the new engine and cooling systems. To the side of the central intake, we find new large intakes that channel air to the front brakes. As we continue out, we find the side lights from the standard Yaris are carried over but are presented in far more angular structures, finished in faux carbon. The enhanced frontal cooling system is continued above with two further strips. To either side of the highest intake strip, we find these LED headlights with LED daytime running lights and cube design on top. Behind the lights and we come to the new bonnet and windscreen behind with its two wipers. Continuing back and we come to the new carbon effect roof, a feature on all GR models, with a shark's fin antenna further back. We can now move to the car's lateral aspect. GR comes with a new side skirt that extends further up at the front and slightly more laterally, but it is still quite a subtle panel. As we move up, we first come to a new GR badge, and then the unchanged door handles that signify the car being keyless entry. Above these are the unchanged electrically adjustable wing mirrors that come with integrated indicators. As we continue along the lateral aspect, we eventually come to the circular fuel cap that can be opened by pulling the catch at the right of the driver's footwell. GR Yaris has a 36 litre fuel tank and returns a combined MPG of 31.7. Now moving to the very rear of GR and we first notice the newly extended rear arches. Above these is a new extended rooftop spoiler that extends out far more directly than before. An LED brake light strip is integrated into the rear of this new structure. Moving down, we come to a new and now smaller rear window that has been made smaller to accommodate the new rear design. 
The black bar below this, that comes with the rear light complexes on either side, appears to be unchanged from that in the standard Yaris. The reversing camera sits just off center, under the Toyota badge. New GR Insignia accompanies Yaris to the right. As we're here, we can also take a better look at the angular rear light complexes that wrap around the side for enhanced visibility. The standard Yaris comes with quite a large gloss black area at the rear, but GR comes with an entirely new diffuser with four more defined fins and of course the new dual exit exhaust on either side. Now we've finished the exterior tour, we can move inside. After unlocking the car, the door can be easily opened using the large handles. The interior probably shares more features with the standard Yaris than the exterior, but I'll highlight all differences as we progress. We can now start the in-depth interior tour with the doors. At the top, we find the same thick black panel as in the standard car, that curves as we move in. Underneath, the midsection starts at the top of the black panel, but is intersected by an Alcantara upholstered panel with an integrated armrest. As we move into this area, we find a dark chrome inlay with the door release, with electric window, mirror and interior lock controls above. Underneath, we come to a slight storage area and first speaker from the optional 8-speaker JBL system. GR Yaris has a running ride height of 124mm, reduced by 36mm over the standard Yaris. Moving up to the sill, we find a new GR metal kick plate. And as we move up, we come to the bonnet release, exterior light controls and first many adjustable air vent. Then moving to the left, we come to the leather upholstered steering wheel. The thin steering wheel is much the same as that in the standard car, with controls for the instrument cluster, cause and volume to the left. New thick chrome section below with new GR badge, and controls for assistance systems and cruise control to the right. GR Yaris can then be started by depressing the clutch, and then pressing the black GR button to the left of the wheel. Shortly after this, we see the new GR startup graphics. We can now hear the exhaust in both normal and sport modes, and view the front and rear indicators. Moving back to the interior, we can view the instrument cluster. Here, we find two analog displays and a central digital display. In the standard Yaris, we find three digital displays, so the display here had been crafted for that true motorsport aesthetic. The central display can show speed and range, average MPG, lane keep assist, audio, tyre pressures, real-time all-wheel drive system usage, real-time turbo boost, basic trip, then various assistance systems, and finally messages. Moving up, and we find quite a clean dash with protrusions on either side where the JBL tweeters would be fitted, and lacking the HUD in front of the driver. Returning to the centre of the dash and moving down, we come to the 7-inch touchscreen for the infotainment system. Using the buttons around the edges, with the first three being for radio station, track selection and phone connectivity, we can move to the setup screen for general options, that include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto setup. Moving to the right, the first button takes us back to the home screen, with menu bringing access for audio, the DB digital radio, USB, Bluetooth and AUX inputs, where the rotaries on either side can be used for station selection and volume. Phone for calls and messages. Info for more in-depth trip information. And setup from the touchscreen. 
The final options here are the navigation system that can be adjusted on the touch screen and the reversing camera with guidelines. Under the screen, we find the button for the hazard lights and two manually adjustable air vents, all unchanged from the standard Yaris. And under these is a shallow storage area, also the same. As we continue down, we come to the controls for the aircon and ventilation system, where single and dual functionality can be selected. and buttons below for AC, recirculation, fan speed and front and rear demist. Underneath we find a single USB input, airbag warning light, 12 volt input and rotary for the car's three drive modes, normal, sport and track, that also changes the colours on the instrument cluster. This drive mode controller changes the distribution of torque to the wheels, front and rear in normal is 60-40, sport is 30-70 and track 50-50. The final thing on this part of the central column is the short shift gear stick for the car's six-speed manual transmission, specially made for this car. Moving down, we come to three buttons. The IMT button stands for Intelligent Manual Transmission and will blip the engine for you on downshifts. Under this are buttons for traction control and start-stop. The WRC dedication plaque is just behind this and reminds us of GR's roots. Finally, there are two open cup holders with another small storage area behind and the manual handbrake. On either side of the central column, we find the sports seats from the highest non-GR Yaris model, but now upholstered in a custom GR pattern with the logo in the headrest. These are manually adjustable, with controls for back and forth underneath, and tilt and height to the side. To access the rear, the rearmost lever needs to be raised so the seat can be pushed forward. As this is a three-door car, as opposed to the standard five-door Yaris models, the rear has been changed slightly. There are of course no rear doors, so the layout to the sides has changed with the speakers and armrests now integrated into the side of the car. The seats are now upholstered fully in leather, and there is now a small storage area in the center. As we've now covered the majority of the outside, we can view the car's main storage area. Moving out and around to the rear, the boot needs to be manually lifted after being unlocked. Boot capacity has been reduced from 228 litres in the standard Yaris to 174 litres here due to the car's new four-wheel drive system and battery taking more space at the rear. Taking a closer look at this area, we find indentations on either side and latches above so the rear seats can be folded flat. The floor can be lifted up to reveal the battery and various tools. Once finished, the bootlid needs to be manually lowered and secured. Finally, we can move back inside through the main interior storage. There is an indentation above the passenger side glove compartment to quickly stow small items. Below this is a large glove compartment. Both of these areas are unchanged from the standard cars. So that concludes my in-depth exterior and interior tour and exhaust sound video of this 2021 Toyota Yaris GR that belongs to Inchscape Toyota Guildford. You can find all of Inchscape Toyota Guildford's contact details in the description of the video. Please subscribe for the latest content and until next time, thanks for watching.